now this allows us to jump into the third tool. So now that we've done two, we've done, you know, we have lots, we've had lots of colors, and now we've broken this down into small little bits, you know, four or five words, so they're easier to understand. All right, so bear with me as we, as we go through this. We just have one more tool to go, then we'll get patterns, and it becomes a bit more exciting. So the last tool I said was the four, or the five Ws plus the one H. So the who, the what, the where, the how. So we're going to look at the second tool, uh, Wenjiro. So what we're going to do now is going to take the same text that we now broke out into small little um, bits, as I call them, and you're going to tell me which ones you think are related to a who, a what, a how, a when, or a where. All right, so let, let, let's try doing this together. So um, maybe we'll, instead of, we'll skip the intro and start from blessed. So blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's just take those two lines together. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll start to do this so that can become a, you, can, you can get to understand this a bit more, and then I'll, I'll hand it over to you guys to continue. So, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not a where. It's not a when. Um, it's not a how. I'll describe this as a who, because we're starting off talking about God, and then it's God, who is also the father of Jesus Christ. And then it continues on by saying who. So we have the first two lines, I would, I would bracket and say those two are about who. I don't know if there's any way you could label it um, using this to say the first two lines were a who. Um, so, again, starting from uh, blessed us. So I described that blessed us, or blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I described that as a who. The next part, who has blessed us. Now, is that a where? No, it's not a where. It's not a when. Um, could it be a how? Well, no, he's actually telling us what he did. So it's blessed be the God and Father. Who did what? Well, he blessed us. So I'll describe blessed us as a what. So I'll describe the uh, who has blessed us as a what. Now, the next part is... Um, I'll let me pause there. So when you're the, the who has blessed us, that part I'll describe as a what. So it's only the first two lines are a who. Oh, okay. so who is a what. So now the next line, with every spiritual blessing. Is that a where? With every spiritual blessing. Is that a where? No. Is that a when? Um, is that a how? No. I'll actually describe that as a what as well. Because he blessed us. Okay, he blessed us with what? Well, he blessed us with every spiritual blessing. So I'll describe that as a what. The next one is in the heavenly places. Is that a when, a where, a what, a how? Well, that one's a bit obvious. In the heavenly realm. So that's a when, uh, a when, sorry, a where. And then the next one is in Christ. Now, what's in Christ? Is that a what? Is it a who? It's in him. But what is in him? A how. It's interesting. It's a how. Now, I know that may seem odd, like how did you pick a how? But this becomes a little bit clearer as we do this. So it's a how because, well, he blessed us. What did he do? What? He blessed us. Um, with what? Well, he blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Um, so how did he do that? Well, he did it in Christ. And we'll see how the, how the in Christ becomes clear that it's a how. Then it says, even as he chose us. Even as he chose us. Now, is that a what, a where, a when, a how? Even as he chose us. When was the last time we saw something about us? What was it? Was it a what? Was it a when? Was it a where? It was a what. So he chose us. That's something that he's doing. Like, so what did he do? Well, he chose us. So we describe that as a what. Then the next phrase becomes in him. What is in him? So we said that was a, a how. So it's like he chose us. That's what he did. And how did he do it? Well, he did it in him. So now you see how the in him becomes a how. Um, and then you can even continue to see to himself, through, so I jumped a bit, through Jesus Christ to himself. Even when you see that, is that a how, a what, a where, a when? It's a how. Yeah, it's interesting it becomes a how, because how did he do it? Well, he did it through Christ. So it's almost like the way I find it easy to ask this question is, I look at the last phrase, so let's go back to where we were. It says, before the foundation of the world. Um, well, that one's easy because it says before, so we know that's a, 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 a where. But the next part says that we would be holy and without blemish. I just ask myself, okay, so he, he did this before the foundation of the world. Um, when? That we would be holy. No, it's not a when. He did this before the foundation of the world. Um, 
Where? No, that's not a where. He did it before the foundation of the world. So I literally go through the when, the what, the where, the how. And, and where do you think that fits now, that we would be holy and without blemish? Is that a what, a when, a where, a why, a how? It's a why. So that's what he did. It's like, so he did it before the foundation of the world. Why? So that we would be holy and without blemish. So you can see that it's a why. So literally, you just take the time to take each of these phrases and understand, is it a who, a what, a where, a when, a how? So is this something you guys are comfortable doing? Do you want to try doing a few more? One or two more? Okay, let's do a couple more. Next one is before him. What's that? It's a where. So it's a where because it's physically something that's done before him. All right, I like that. Um, in love, let's take this. In love is such a short part. Let's take in love or before him in love. I guess you can put those two together. Let's take having predestined us. Is that a what, a where, a when, a how? So we've seen other things highlighted yellow before. It's a what. Okay, and let me ask the next one. For adoption as children through Jesus Christ. It's a why. So let's see. So you're saying, why did he do it? He did it to adopt us? Or let me argue that, let's see, he did it to adopt us. Let's pause on that question about whether it's a why before we label it. Now let's continue reading this. So it says, through Jesus Christ. We said that's a, a how. And the next line, to himself. What's that? It's a why. He adopted us. He made us holy and without blemish. Why? To himself. He did it through Christ to himself. So you're right. It's a why. Let me ask the last four lines. According to the good pleasure of his desire, to the praise of the glory of his grace. What's that? It's a why. So the last part is a why. So let me ask. If the last part is a why, let's go back to for adoption as children. So, having predestined us is a what? And then for adoption as children, would you still label that as a why or, or would you label it differently? It's, it's, only, it's part of the through Jesus Christ. So you can argue that it's part of the, uh, part of the, the, the how. But don't worry if you label things differently. As, we, as you'll see from these um, tools, the groupings, once we put all this together, will become a bit more um, clearer. And, it's, and the details of whether this one's a how or why, um, it's fine if we label them differently. So now, there you go. You guys have done this first part of, the, of, the, um, of these few verses. So at this point, you can now take out the next sheet that has the full version of all this. And for everybody at home, hopefully you had a chance to apply this full tool yourself. So again, before you jump to the next version, we encourage you to continue going through the rest of the passage yourself so you can actually um, experience this together.